Well, hello friends and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to be sharing just like a little 4th of July weekend vlog. So this is my little outfit that I put together for saturday and it was so cute and comfy so today we're starting off on saturday and we're going to my husband's side of the family's like family reunion and so this is actually angie's house that has the beach condo that we toured back in may also so we'll go inside in a minute her homes are just beautiful but we just hung out by the pool all day and then some people went on a boat ride it was just a very nice and relaxing day just hanging out with family and eating some really good food So once we got home that night, Drew and I made like a little pallet area in the living room and laid here and watched a movie and ate ice cream. And then the next morning, Drew made us French toast and we had some fresh fruit. And then we decided to get up and go for a little ride and Maddie loved it. And we went and just looked at some outdoor decorations for the 4th of July around our community and I just love seeing these little white houses all dressed up and so we went and kind of looked at those and then we came home and we had some tomatoes from our garden so we made a tomato sandwich so let me know how you make a tomato sandwich I do just cheese and meat and tomatoes and salt and pepper and put it in the microwave for a little bit and drew does mayonnaise salt and pepper and just tomatoes and so whenever i say i want a tomato sandwich there's always like it's not a tomato sandwich because you're putting more than just tomatoes on there so let me know how you eat yours and then i I went outside and enjoyed our back patio and I turned on our home tour just because I like seeing how the sound and quality is on the big screen. So I turned that on and then it was so hot outside so I went and grabbed this bowl of watermelon and I told y'all that I'm loving watermelon right now. It is so delicious. So Sunday afternoon, we went over to my sister's house and just hung out with them by the pool and ate some food and waited for our fireworks show in our small town that they always put on. But this whole weekend, it was like pop-up shower, so it would rain for a minute and then be sunshine again. And so they actually had to cancel the like little program that's in the park. So we love that little program and we were sad that it was canceled. They're singing and prayer and then honoring those in our community that has served but we still had a wonderful time and was thankful that the fireworks weren't canceled and we got to meet up with some friends and just enjoy each other's company and the beautiful show that our small town put on for us
Monday morning, Mom texted my sister and I and told us to come over there for breakfast to surprise Dad. She was making waffles, so he didn't know that we were coming. So we showed up over there and then had breakfast with him and sang happy birthday. His birthday is July 3rd, and so it's always fun to celebrate him with the 4th of July. Happy birthday, Dad. Happy 4th of July. This day, Drew and I just got up and cooked the food that we were going to be taking to my sister's house that afternoon to hang out with the family again. And I was just going to share with y'all a little sneak peek of our home tour. Again, you can go check out my last video to see the full home tour. I love how our home came together this year. And I loved reading all of your comments. Y'all were so, so sweet. And it made all the hard work really worth it because it was really hard work I felt like at this time because we are really pregnant and so um moving things around and decorating was a little bit of a challenge this time but I loved it so much and so now we're just going to be putting together little trays and little dishes to take to eat for this holiday like I said let me know in the comments down below what you did on the 4th of July or what you did if you celebrated it on Saturday Sunday whatever let me know what you did what your plans were what you cooked um, I loved seeing all the little posts on my social media of friends and families getting together and hanging out and just having a good time celebrating America so I put together this little watermelon or like little fruit bowl tray and then my husband drew and I made baked beans and we did potato salad and drew grilled some chicken and so we don't really have recipes we always just throw things together so I was just kind of sharing sharing with y'all what we put into these baked beans and they were so delicious um, drew also added brown sugar regular sugar um, we put syrup in here and barbecue sauce. So these beans were done up right. They were so good. And we just put them in the crock pot that morning and just let them go on. I think Drew did either low or high for most of the day. And then now we're going to be using Drew's Nanny's potato salad recipe. We love her potato salad. And um, we always bring this to any kind of barbecue events. This is a staple we have to have this and then this is my outfit i got this dress at old navy it's like a little athletic dress love it it has a built-in bra built-in shorts and so it was so comfortable and i want this in like every color and then here's little maddie's outfit for the day and then now we're at my sister's house and she made a birthday cake for my dad and is just adding some fruit on it and this was so delicious and then here's my plate for the fourth I ate every bit of it and more Happy So 
we ended the night with my dad's favorite and I think everybody's favorite homemade ice cream. So we had chocolate and vanilla and then we watched the kids do some small fireworks in their backyard. So we had a wonderful 4th of July. Let me know in the comments again what y'all did, how y'all celebrated. I hope that y'all had a wonderful and safe time with your families and I hope that y'all have a wonderful rest of your summer. I love you guys so much and God bless and I cannot wait to see you guys on the very next video. Bye.